definitely. Now at five, stepped up security causing long lines at Charlotte Mecklenburg schools as students head back to class for the start of a new school year. Parents encountered a line of people wrapped around the buildings this morning as they went to drop off their kids. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has been keeping tabs on this for us all day. Ashley, a few minor hiccups, but the superintendent says we should expect this this time of year. Well, Fred, that's right. If you, I mean, as everyone knows, uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg School District is the second largest in the state. 147,000 kids went back to school today. So, yeah, he says, you know, it should be expected there would be some small kinks. But those lines you were talking about, we heard from parents who said they waited over an hour and they waited to get one of these. A badge that CMS says is all to keep your child safe. Before the sun was up, more than 147,000 CMS students were getting ready for their first day of the new school year. Even CMS Superintendent Dr. Clayton Wilcox was there as more than 1,000 CMS buses returned to the roads. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we had a few snafus with transportation in terms of some late buses rolling. We waited for over an hour. One of those late buses, Mom Morgan Strong says, was running more than an hour behind, making her second grader at Rivergate Elementary late for her first day. You know, I tried to call the transportation office. Of course, their line was completely busy. Um, I, I was not even sure that the bus was even going to come. And at several elementary schools, families arrived to see this. Lines wrapped around the school. A CMS enforces its visitor check-in policy, where all visitors must scan their ID for a badge. Some parents say it prevented them from walking their nervous kindergartners to class. But honestly, I think there's not a parent in this district who wouldn't understand that we have to keep kids safe. We live in a very different world in the 21st century than we did. And so while I know it was an inconvenience and I apologize to the folks who were inconvenienced, I think it was absolutely the right thing to do. But despite minor snafus, CMS and parents alike say today was a great first day back. Yeah, I'm excited about everything so far, the traffic. Uh -huh. How's the first day been in terms of dropping off and picking up? It's been easy. I mean, we're just right up the street, so we drop off and pick up. Pick up was a little slow. And not only was it an exciting day for many students today, but it was also an exhausting one. We actually saw several elementary school students. We asked them how their day was and they were wiped out. But uh, coming up at six, the superintendent actually right now as we speak is having his final press conference of the day. We have team co coverage at that and they're going to have a full report for you at six. Reporting live, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte. All right, safety first on the first day of school. Thank you, Ashley.